Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93 with part 16 in XD Go Darkness. In the last episode, we had a lot of running around to do, and so we finally get to Dr. Kaminko's house in this episode. And joining me today is somebody who's never co comed with me before. Hello, your fillers. My name is Antonio, or the Lightning Flare here, and that was just a sound effect I had on my phone. Yeah, Lightning Flare, he's never co comed with me before, and he's actually the latest director for Tomato Gamers. Yeah, I won the little tournament that we had with ease, I guess, because some of the matches were pretty close, but most of them were just like 4-0s or 3-0s. So, it was pretty easy. So, I am now a director, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, the final battle was between him and my friend DG Maniac 456 and we all thought it was going to be a much closer battle than it actually was, but he actually beat VG 4-0. Yeah, Hale is dominant. Not really, but I just like to use it for the surprise factor, which pretty much got me through most of the rounds. Like, seriously, I give you mad props for doing a hail team. I tried, like, twice and, like, lost both times. Mo the reason why most hail teams aren't very effective is because most people like to use, like, a lot of ice types, but I just use two being a bomb of snow and magma swine, and since magma swine does not weak to rocks, it's pretty good. I see. When I use my hail team, I use... Uh, I wouldn't say great ice types. It was like five or six ice Pokemon, I swear. Um, yeah, that, that that was your weakness there. You need to have a rapid spinner. You need to have a sun. You, have, you need to have a, uh, another weather counter. So. Yeah. See, I wasn't planning. This is like six months ago, keep in mind. This is back before I was not planning out anything with much with any of my teams. But what I did have is that I did have a, a Bomba Snow. I had a Stall Rain. Stall Rain was like my best Pokemon. I, I, I was going to use it, but then it it just didn't work and own you as much as I thought it would. Alright, so now we're inside the, uh, I guess you could say basement type of laboratory place of Dr. Kuminko's mansion. Yeah, and we need to go and talk about the LP. People are getting bored of competitive talk. I know. Speaking of which, just throwing it out there, I'm trying to get back into Wi-Fi battling as of this month, I guess, I'm going to try and get out of my slump and see if I can you know, get back on track. Anyways, in the video, uh, we get our up, um, upgraded scooter, which means we can now finally go back into the desert where we're trying to track down whatever it is on that de destination we ne on the map we never got to uh, go to yet. Speaking of Guild of Darkness, um, does this game go by levels? Like... If you reach a town, it goes to like level one, level two, level three. Oh no, no, no! It's just different locations on the map, and your Pokemon obviously grow up levels up to level one hundred, etc. But there's yeah, not like no stages per game, no. Okay, that's good. Cause when I was a little boy and I used to play this game, my cousin tricked me in saying that there was different levels, and I told him I was on level sixteen like all the time, and he said that was very good. But I was like on the first town. Wow. Okay, we finally no, get to I this did, destination. I, it's actually I, I, the, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's um, okay. This destination that we finally were able to access on the map turns out to be the missing SS Libra ship that has been reported missing the entire game so far. Oh, I remember. That's the one in the, in the intro. Oh, God. Let me pause this video. Okay. So, apparently, we finally found this ship after a long search. Not sure what it's doing in the middle of the desert. And it seems really destroyed, too. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Your mom Maybe cares. She, she does? Yeah, she cares. Oh, I didn't even realize. I'll go and ask her later. So now we're going to go explore inside of this ship here. There's a lot of different items in the uh, red boxes you can go, but you probably have to do a little bit of pushing around these boxes because you have to be able to navigate these boxes accordingly to where you can access the plat platforms that these boxes are on. It's not hard, you just have to do a little bit of thinking. Yeah, kind of like a little puzzle. Yeah, like, a, none of the puzzles are really hard, you just have to take the time to do it. I really need to clean my glasses. Just a random thought. So you wear glasses? Not, not all the time, but when I do, it's like for like reading or on the computer. Oh, I see. I never use glasses, I mean, I've been t I was actually told, like, I believe. Uh, growing up, like as a kid, I might need glasses. Well, I was like, no, I'm not wearing glasses. I don't need them. I don't see too much of a difference, but it does help my eyes, so it prevents more damage. All right, and now we have apparently ran into some 
Cypher grunt slash Cypher admit it seems. I don't think we're going to battle him right now, it doesn't look like, but we probably have to do at least one grunt battle right now. Oh yeah, do you, what, what's your team? Do you have a Teddy Ursa? I have a Ursa Ring, I have an Umbreon, a um, Celio, and then I have a uh, Ampharos. Freak Celio! That's an inside joke. From another yeah. LP. From another oh, yeah, Kill of Darkness LP. Like um, this who, who's? Like which one? Wild Chase. Do you know Wild Chase? Yeah, I've heard of Wild Chase. Yeah, he did an LP of it, and like, apparently there, something happened in his experience with a Celio and in his LP of Gale of Darkness. Celios are fucking annoying when you have to battle that Glacia person in Emerald, you know, one of the Elite Four people, she has like two Celios. Mm -hmm. That was annoying because like they use Hail and then like you use... Ice Body. Like, yeah, Ice Body, whatever it's called, and then they use... I don't know what's it called, Ice Rock or something? I don't know. Ice Ball, I, I remember that. Ice, oh, yeah, Ice God. Ball or Icicle Spear, whatever it is, it's annoying. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, was that a girl or a boy? That was a female. Oh, okay. Because I remember that there's two similar characters, and one's a boy and one's a girl. You know, they look pretty much the same. Except for, like, hair difference. So, I just got one question to ask you in Wi-Fi. Do you always like to do roulette like how you did the first video of the TMG? No, that was actually my first roulette ever. I usually just go NU or OU. Well, I saw the video, and I was like... What? Because I, I do roulette a lot myself with my friends whenever I'm bored. Mm -hmm. But usually, when I do roulette, I tell my friends that I'm doing roulette with, omit any Pokemon that isn't a Wi-Fi Pokemon. Like, you randomly selected a level 5 Scraggy. Yeah, I was like, why not? This this is just for lols, and it was actually I a know, little but... cup. It was a little cup Pokemon. You... I mean, I, I know, I've got a little, I've got a little bit of... <laughs> a little bit of Little Cup Pokemon myself, but when I'm doing Roulette, I mean, I purposely don't count any of the Little Cup Pokemon, and neither do them. I was like, this is a Roulette battle, and so it's random, but we don't count the Pokemon that aren't level 100 and ready for, like, you know, standard Wi-Fi battles. Believe it or not, the level 5 Scraggy could have been useful if I played it right, like, I could have used it for, like, Death Fodder. So... I, I, so... I wasn't really complaining too bad about having a level 5 Scraggy, since I did have a Latios which pretty much owned it, most of his team. So you do have a Little Cup team? Yeah, I do. Actually, not now, because my brother like deleted my game, so I need to go and put it back in my game. Why would he do that? I, he wanted to go and play it, but then I like told him, find white, and then he found it like the next day, and he, he was like, sorry. And I wasn't too mad, because it's pretty easy to go and get him back in the game. Wait, so all of your Wi-Fi's been deleted? Like, all your Wi-Fi teams? No, um, yeah, they did, but I got them, I got most of them back, but not my little cup at the moment. I need to go and do uh, that, actually. Well, uh, after this narration's over and we do this video uploading and stuff, do you want to do a roulette battle? Like sure. I said, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of battling, so I guess a roulette battle would be like an easy baby step for me to get my confidence back or something. The reason why I, I quit is because I kept on getting terrible luck. Actually, NU would be better, because I, I find NU to be the easiest tier. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying that NU is hard, it's just that I don't want to Actually, do any roulette, type of tier roulette where with I have to like, would, plan out anything. Roulette with me would be hard because my pokes are mostly OU. I, I have like two OU teams and one NU at the moment. I mean, hell, I've got like 30 or 40 OU Pokemon, I mean... Okay, then let's go. Some some of them are repeats, like I have two different Lucarios or something like that, but I mean, I've got 30 or 40 OU ready Pokemon. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to say is that I don't want to do a like selective tier like NU, UU, or RU, or nothing like that because I don't want to get back into the groove yet of having to plan out a team for a specific tier. I I, I would just rather like get random, you know, you pick six Pokemon. You could actually do a Challenge Cup match. Have you ever played PO? No, I don't do PO at all. Well, there's a tier called Challenge Cup, and recently there was this guy called Antar who made a program where you can go and challenge cup on your DS, which is basically everything random. Items, IVs, EVs, moves, Pokemon, levels, it's all pretty much random. I don't think I like it that random. Okay then. I'm, I'm a little bit suggest um, um, when say it's um, selective, that's what I'm going to say. I'm a little bit selective in how I like to do roulette. I like to do roulette with 
tiers from NU, RU, UU, and OU. No Ubers, no Little Cup, and just all level 100, you know, you know, EV and IV and stuff like that. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Wait, let me go and check how many Pokemon I actually have. Cause I so, to get back on topic of the video, because we've strayed far off topic, uh, we're just exploring this place, looking around. It's because there's not really much to talk about at this point of the game since you're mostly searching for items, correct? Or just searching for the place to go? Uh, you're pretty much just trying to advance in the game. Like, there's different things you have to do that all kind of go hand in hand with like the main story, which is just trying to defeat Cypher. Yeah. Cypher it's all is, pretty, uh, is it's this pretty game's... Easy. Pokemon is pretty easy in general, so you don't really need to go and narrate like what's ha actually happening. I tried to do that a lot back when I was doing my diamond, my yellow, and like I would say maybe my emerald LPs. Those were like all like at least a year ago or something. But ever since I did leaf green, uh, it was more kind of laid back, you know, just do a lot of co-coms with friends. I never even bothered to. Cocom Crystal at all because that was on TMG and I was saving my time and effort of doing Cocoms for a different LP I was doing on my main channel at the time. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, I did really try to be descriptive in like a type of walkthrough type of method, mostly but, during Diamond and Yellow. But now you just feel like, eh. Well, the, most I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, at this point, I understand Pokemon is one of those things where. You can't really make it too descriptive and exciting at the same time unless you're like Sugar Conroy. And unless it's a Wi-Fi battle, because th those are actually you need to go and explain in detail. You know what? I don't even narrate Wi-Fi battles that much. The Wi-Fi battles I do have uploaded, I usually just insert music. Well then you suck. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's because I just don't feel like I'm a good Wi-Fi narrator because I got a little boring voice. I'm not always... Like, you know, able to keep up with what's going on in the video as I'm trying to say what's happening. Okay. Now, the I... thing is, I want to kind of get in the groove of doing a little bit of descriptive narrating for this game, since it's a drastic change from what I've usually done, which is just emulator stuff. I love emulator games. Have you done any any ROM hacks? Definitely. I'm doing a ROM hack on TMD right now called Fire Red Omega. Oh, I love that game. Yeah, I've been doing it. I've got like 18-something parts of it already made. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't subscribe to the channel, like for a long time. I always like click the subscribe button, but my even right now I don't think I'm subscribed, even though I press the subscribe button. That's weird. Like no, none of, mean... like no videos ever come out on the sub box and my sub box. That's probably just YouTube's fault for being gay. Yeah. I mean everybody's experiencing the PM problem that YouTube's been doing. Mhm. Mm And so we have another mini mission inside of a mini mission because this is mini mission inception. We have to try and find a so-called mysterious noise that this guy on the ship said that he wants us to investigate. So I'm guessing it's a it. random Pokemon. Um, here's the funny part. It turns out to be the very thing we originally came here for. Which is what? Finding a Bonsley. It's a Bonsley. You're going through so much trouble to find a Bonsley. Finding a Bonsley, but let's keep in mind it, all of this, while it's kind of mostly just trying to find a Bonsley for now, the more important thing is that we found SS Libra in the desert. That's like breaking news. Yeah. That's that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of wasting the objective of this game, because if you think about it, I've caught all of, like three Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> in this game, like, the thing they preach to you at the very beginning, catch all the Shadow Pokemon and free them from Cypher, and I've caught, like, three out of, like, 20 possible so far. But that's okay, since you're, like, more of a layback up here, like you said, so you're not... Are you trying to 100... 100%? Oh, hell no! I don't do 100%. God, I don't have the patience for that. Okay, then, then it doesn't really matter. I know, but Maybe still... something cool happens when you actually... I think that you the, you can catch Shadow Lugia if you go and catch every other Shadow Pokemon. I think that's the... that's your reward. I mean, you can purify Shadow Lugia. You can catch a, Lu a Shadow Lugia with like a Master Ball, but you can't purify it because it's really hard to purify. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. I don't, I don't know. Have you ever played this game? 
Oh yeah, I've had this game. I mean, got it on GameCube. Did you ever beat it? Uh, I've beat it in terms of the boss, but this is pretty much it for this video. This is Mox signing out. Say bye, Flair. Oh, bye. That's it? Yep, that's it for this video. Okay, bye.